In this video, we're going to look at acceleration. In, in particular, we're going to look at two equations and then an example problem that uses these two equations. So this is constant acceleration, and the first equation is shown here in bold, s equals a times t plus s sub zero. So this thing, our speed, if we're looking for a speed, that's equal to the acceleration times time t plus the initial speed. And then our second equation shown in bold in that second grouping is looking at distance. So x equals one half the acceleration a times t squared, that's our time, plus the initial speed s sub zero times the time t plus the initial position x sub zero. So let's work this example problem now. We're asked how far a vehicle traveling 25 miles per hour needs to stop if decelerating at a constant rate of 14 feet per second squared. So we're going to start with our first equation. And really what we're going to use this for is to find the time t that's going to allow us to find the distance x. So our equation s equals a times t plus s sub zero. So putting in our knowns, we know our final speed is zero feet per second. That's where we end up. We're asked that we're told that we're coming to a stop. If we are told that we want to decelerate from that speed to some intermediate speed, we put that here. But in this example, we're told that this vehicle is going to stop. And this is equal to the acceleration. We we're given this negative 14 feet per second squared. And it's negative because it's decelerating. If we were accelerating, that would be a positive. And that's times time t plus our initial speed, and that is 36.67 feet per second. Now we're given in miles per hour, so we need to make this conversion, so we have consistent units, feet per second, feet per second squared, and time in seconds. So we're going to rearrange this, solve for t, so t is negative 36.67 feet per second divided by negative 14 feet per second squared. It's going to give us a time of 2.62 seconds. So now we know the time that this whole maneuver takes. So decelerating from 25 miles per hour or 36.67 feet per second to a stopped speed is takes 2.62 seconds. So we're going to take this time t and now plug it into our equation for x. x is giving us a distance. x is, x is our distance. So we're going to plug in our known value. So x equals 1 half times our acceleration, negative 14 feet per second squared times our time, 2.62 seconds squared, plus our initial speed, 36.67 feet per second, multiplied by the time, 2.62 seconds, plus our initial distance. And we weren't given any initial distance we were trying to travel here. We had gone, so we're going to input zero there. So that distance that's required to make this maneuver is 48.02 feet. So we're decelerating from 25 miles per hour to stop and it's going to take us 2.62 seconds to do that. We're going to travel a distance of 48.02 feet during that maneuver. 